Why, hello, fellow Vikings. Welcome back. Today we're going to play Wilhelm. Wilhelm? 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 Yep, that game. <laughs> uh, this game looks so cool. So I've, I've played a little bit of it, and uh, it is cool. <laughs> Look at all the little pixels. That's pretty neat. I like the, uh, the art style of it. It's like the game itself is really pretty, uh, like lighting and shadows and stuff, but it's all made out of these little, little pixels. Almost makes it looks like look like a uh, PS1 game, but better graphics somehow. So uh, we'll start with our character, Metal Meerkat. Oh wait a minute, that's me. Uh, wait, let me make a new world. Uh. Donut land. Cool. Done. Start. And here we go, starting our journey in the clutches of a great bird. This is what happens whenever you leave the Undead Asylum in Dark Souls and uh, accidentally get the wrong crow. Instead of Snuggly, we got Huggin here. Actually, this bird's really weird looking because I just realized that it's like part person. Gross. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Oh! oh I broke my legs. Uh, well met. Why, hello, Huggin. <laughs> I'm sure it's not Huggin. It's probably Hugin or Hugin or something. But he looks like a hugging to me, and I want to hug a him. Okay. Anyway. Uh, hey, we got a torch. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, okay. It's showing me where the, uh, the thing we have to kill is. So we got to kill these creatures on this, uh, I guess this world. It's actually quite a pretty big map because I mean we're all the way down here and it actually takes a little while to get like from here to here so there's a lot of map here there's like oceans and things yeah so what it wants us to do is uh like kill a deer and stuff and that's how we'd summon that creature but we need to probably make a house and things Cause I'm like I don't have anything to kill anything with. I got I got my fists. <laughs> so first and foremost, like most survival games, we have to scour around for things. But that's all right. That's cool. We knew what we were getting into. Oh, there's a boar there. They're pretty mean. At least until I get a club or something. You just stay over there. Leave me, leave me alone. Huggin'. What up? Oh, yeah. So, uh, just hit tab to open up your stuff and eat, eat raspberries. Delicious. What now? <laughs> well met. Yeah, I'm busy doing that. I'm trying to pick up wood and stuff. You're stopping me from doing it. Oh, yeah. So, um, in this game, I, I kind of like this more than a standard RPG. So usually in RPGs, you level up and you get to put your stats wherever you want to. And I mean, that's cool because you can create your character however you want. But I kind of like how it is in this game where, say, like, right there, I jumped and I leveled up my jump. Ow! What the heck? Ah! Get away from me! It's a lizardman! Uh, but yeah, so say you run a bunch, you level up your running. You jump a bunch, you level up your jumping. Same with, like, unarmed punching and stuff. And I just think that's a better way of doing it, really. Uh, there's my stats. So, yeah, so you got, like, blocking, clubs, jump, unarmed, run. And you get more stats as it goes on. But, uh, I think that's a cool way of doing it, because, I mean... Yeah, you can put stats in whatever you want to with other RPGs, but I'm like, there's no guarantee that you're going to be using that item. If you're like using unarmed more in your gameplay because that's how you play then that's what should level up at least that's how I see it uh, I got a board after me go away please 
I keep getting soaked because of these jerks. Grab some stones. I'm just gonna go around and pick up as much stuff as I can so we don't have to go searching so much. Please leave me alone. Oh my gosh. Alright, well I wanted to get out of the woods anyway because the stupid boars kept coming after me. Oh crap, it followed me! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, there's so much in here. Did I kill it? Holy crap, I won. I saw that other thing too, though. That neck thing. Okay, I think it's leaving. I just barehanded killed that boar and I feel awesome now. I don't need two of these. I'll take those. No, both of them. So I found a little hut that had uh, some flint and a torch in it. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but I want to <clears throat> build out here in the open where I can see everything. Also, whenever you cut down trees, trees can... They, they have actual physics. So a tree could fall on you and kill you or destroy your home. And I don't want that, so... Uh, I wish I had a hoe made already because then I could level out the land. This is very lumpy. Let's see, what do we got here? So we want to make a hammer. What do you mean? Where did all my stone go? Didn't I pick up like that? Hmm. So that's one weird thing that I've noticed, even whenever I played this earlier. I swear, sometimes it does not give you all the stones that you picked up. See, now I have three. But I picked up like four or five earlier, and I don't remember using them. So I'm like, where did those go? Hmm. It is quite weird. Well, I'm just leveling up my jumping and my running like crazy. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're bound to do it in the beginning here, running around looking for stuff. Yeah, there are all these raspberries. So I got something to eat later. I don't want to starve to death. There's plenty of other things that kill me here. I don't need to starve to death. Yeah, look how pretty the lighting is on this. It's like even though the grass is, you know, pixely, er everything's pixely, all the textures are pixely, which probably make the game run better, honestly. But uh, the lighting, super pretty, and just, you know, like, the amount of grass, everything looks really nice. <laughs> the game's in a weird spot. That's why I figure that the pixels are more of a, um, uh, stylistic approach to the game, other than a, you know, a limitation or anything. Uh, let's see. I'll gather up some more rocks. Alright, just making a note of it, I have 15 rocks. So if they disappear, we'll know something's up. Uh, okay, where do we want to build? Eh... I want to build up the hill or down the hill. I kind of like this spot. I'm not too far away from the woods. So, yeah. Click on here. Craft ourselves a hammer. You know what? Let's make this axe. If I got enough for the club, I don't. But we have an axe to get more wood now, so who cares? Huggin, my friend. Yes, I'll start on that workbench in a little bit. I'm busy. So I'm gonna chop down a tree and hope we don't die. Yeah, ha ha ha! Foolish tree. You think you could defeat me? And okay, I broke that one. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Extra wood. Come on. There we go. And then we run because this is gonna hurt if it falls on us. Uh, excuse me? Okay, I landed in another tree. <laughs> so that'll happen too. You gotta chop at it to break it. Come on, tree. Break! There we go. Oh, whoa! Holy crap. That could have killed me. <laughs> the trees, are, the trees are very dangerous in this game. Probably the toughest boss in the game, the tree. Uh, no. 
Wait, let me make a let me make a club first. Stay away from me. Eh. Luckily you can uh, build stuff as you're running. You just wait. Hit the right button. Here we go. Get back here, Grayling. The little creatures are kind of creepy with their glowing eyes. You see them at night, and it's pretty freaky. Haha, <laughs> take that. Oh, ran into stuff. Chop some more wood here. Alright, there we go. Got the last of the trees. Now we're going to go build our house. And I'm going to eat a raspberry to get my health back up. Because that's, that's how that works. <laughs> okay, so I said I was going to build about here, yeah? Alright, yeah. So, we switch to our hammer. Right click. And... Oh, I guess they want me to build the uh, crafting, or the workbench first. Alright, cool. Fine, fine with me. Uh, let's just, uh... Build that right there for now. Huggin! You landed on my bench? That ain't cool, bruh. I can't talk to you. Oh, it's because I got the hammer out. Yep, I know, I know. So yeah, now we have access to all of these parts. So let's, uh... You know what? I'm going to make... Campfire real quick. Let's stick that about right there. Oh, you know what we really should make, actually? Never mind. I don't have that, apparently. What the heck? Oh, it needs a roof. So I'm gonna have to put a roof over this before I can flatten out the land. That's kind of annoying. I wish you could just make the um, the hoe beforehand. Because then I could flatten out the land and really make a nice little hut. But okay, whatever. Do it their way. <laughs> Ow, I walked in the fire! Oh, no! Oh, please tell me that's gonna... Okay. It went out. Whew. Uh, yeah, so you can see here we got a line that goes around. This is all the land we have that we can build in for now. And, uh, I can barely see my fire. That wouldn't be a problem if I had the hoe. <laughs> I kind of want to build around it so I can have a fire in the middle of my hut. I think that would be pretty cool. Right now, I'm putting down flooring. Which will be easier to see again whenever I can do something about this. Eh. Boop. Boop. Uh, doot. Probably gonna have to move our workbench inside somewhere. The heck? Put down the floor. It's got a pretty, uh, pretty nice crafting system, you know, like, our building system and whatnot, so it's pretty cool. Uh, better than some games I've played. And you can rotate, like, everything. Like, I could rotate this even sideways. It's pretty, pretty nice. You just use the mouse wheel. I'm trying not to use all my wood up here, but, oh, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, so my axe broke, apparently, and, uh, I have no way of repairing it. I mean, I can make another one, but I'd rather not have to do that. So, let's see if I can just build a roof over the, uh, workbench real quick. I, I don't know. You know what? Better yet, we'll destroy the workbench. <laughs> I say better yet. We'll see if it's better yet. Can I make another one? <laughs> Uh, I messed up already. Okay, no, I can make another one. Cool. Alright, so we'll put our workbench in here. Alright, there. Cool. At least while it's in here, I can just build in my building. I don't have to... Let's see. Why is it... What is this? I'm confused. Wait. Get that out of there. Okay. Can I use it already, or... 
No. Why do you have the little floating thing above it? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, so I want the 45 degree angle rooftop. And we'll just turn it around. Boom. I wonder if it counts that as a, a roof. Let's see. Can I use it now? And station is too exposed. Okay, so not yet. Let's see. Um, I don't know why it needs to be inside anyway. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of a weird thing. I'm like, it's fine, but it's weird. Uh, I don't know if I can... Can I put this here? Uh, I had to destroy my workbench again. It was too close to the wall over there. No biggie. There we go. Alright, so now... I should be able to put this dang wall. There we go. Sheesh. Cool. This is a lot bigger than the first uh, hut that I made. So, hopefully it still looks alright, slash, hopefully, uh, I don't need too much more material to make it. Probably need to put a second thing here. Boom. And, boom. There we go. Uh, it's getting dark and spooky outside. I don't like it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> I actually feel very exposed right now. And not because I'm wearing a small tunic. Looking like Link here. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, I'm out of wood. Great. Great! Well, either way, that's pretty cool. I kind of wanted to use the... There's a ceiling cap piece, but... With how it came together, I don't really need it. Can I repair my weapon now? Please say yes. It's too exposed. Oh my gosh! Alright, um... Well, you know what? No, don't do that. Can I make a bed? I need wood. Ugh. Well, it's nighttime uh, wood foraging. Huggin! Hail, traveler. Yeah, I know. Temperature dropping. Me cold. Me get it. Okay. Got enough to make a bed. And. Wonder if uh, putting it right here would be fine. Or do I want it over? I think I want it over here. No. Ow! <laughs> I'm on fire again. As long as I don't catch my whole house on fire. There, I'll put it there. Do you have to be on my bed? Excuse me, Huggin. Let's just sleep. Bed is too exposed. No! Oh, uh, yeah. I guess it is. <laughs> Ah, uh, great. So we can't sleep. It's cold. And our axe is broken. Alright, here we go. So, I've got uh, a bit of a roof going. Uh, I had to move this out a little bit. It was actually too close. So now we got it fully encapsulated. Uh, I could probably sleep now. Although I don't like where my bed is. I want it closer to the wall. Uh, but now we can also use our workbench, because there's enough roof, apparently. Uh, and that allows us to make this hoe! <laughs> Funny. Anyway, now that we did that, we can finally clean up in here, because it's a mess. I hate it. Ick. There we go. Uh, okay, we can clean up most of it anyway. Some of it? I don't flippin' know no more. I don't know no more. 
I just want there to be less grass in my house, you know? <laughs> I guess if I want to get rid of the rest of this, I'm going to have to get rid of the floor. That's eh, a bit of a bummer. Not for around here, though. Clean out from under my house. Eh, that's working all right. My bed's still grassy, but I mean, it's a start. <laughs> oh yeah, I could do it right here underneath the fire. Boom! There we go. We got rid of all of it. There. Yeah, nice clean house. Pretty cool. Nice start. Oh yeah, one thing I was wanting to do here. There we go. Now we can cook food. This game's pretty cool. It's got a lot of neat stuff you can do in it. Uh, of course, I haven't killed. Oh wait. Yeah, I don't have any meat, so I had to kill a boar or something. Or this guy. What are you doing at my house? What even are you? You got a volcano for a head? Maybe he's like a little stump man. It's very foggy this morning. So yeah. That's a pretty all, all right start, I think. Oh, Huggins, what do you want? <laughs> I'm starting to call him Huggins. It's just Huggin. <laughs> uh this tools the landscaping, yeah, I know. I, that's what I used it for. You can also use it to uh like put more dirt underneath. Uh, you gotta have stone, though, uh, which I don't really have any of. I guess I can grab a few. Boop, boop. And you just click that. Oh, yeah, I still don't have enough. I need one more. So it says... I don't know how, if... There's gotta be a way that you can mine rocks or, like, break them or something, but I don't know how to get... Grab a couple more stones. I just know how to pick them up out of the ground. There we go. And now I should be able to see how it's kind of caved in on there. There we go. Pretty cool. Oh, whoa. That might be a bit much. Oh, uh, yeah, see, I'm out already. You need a lot of stone. <laughs> And then to flatten it back out, I can just boop, do that. There we go. It's pretty nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So that thing we're supposed to fight's over there. I don't think I'm anywhere near ready to fight it. Um, I don't have a bow or anything. What do we need for a bow? Uh. We need leather scrap, so we need to start killing some borders or something. Rag pants. Oh, okay. Aren't I already wearing a rag tunic? Yeah. So I just need to make rag pants so I'd, I'm not freezing my, my thighs off. <laughs> so we'll go find some boars real quick and hunt those. I'm here to hunt you. I think. Where are you? I thought I saw some up on the hill last night when I was after some wood. Oh, oh crap, there's one right there in front of my face. Ah! I wasn't ready. Get back here. <laughs> okay, that was really easy. <laughs> hey, I got some meat. We can cook that at our little campfire. Yeah! Ha ha! Die! <laughs> cool. I don't remember how much I needed for the pants, though. Boy, these are the kind of woods you walk into and get lost. Oh my gosh, he scared me. <laughs> and never be heard from again. This is advanced fog. I have not seen one boar since I've walked into these woods. 
Hmm. There's a little stream. I think the world generates randomly every time because it gives you a seed. So I feel like it's a uh, randomly generated world like Minecraft or Don't Starve. Ugh! This thing! Kill it! What do they give you? A lizard tail? Neck tail? <laughs> Neck tail? Mm hmm. It's weird. <laughs> uh, so in this game I've seen that there is also uh, sea monsters. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> So, like, you go out into the ocean on your little viking boat, and you'll have the, like, the sea serpent creatures in there. That seems like it'll be a lot of fun when we get to that point. There's a boar. Get out of town. Yes. Usually there's more than one boar out here. Where's the other one? Mushrooms. I'll take those. I think the more items you pick up, the more uh, like recipes you get to make things. All right, we're back in the field. At least I think this is the same field. Yeah, there's our house. All right, cool. Uh, I probably have enough to make my pants, I hope. So let's go up and check. And I don't. Oh, I need five. What do I, I got four. It's always one off, isn't it? Wood shield. Shield probably would be nice. Flint. What do I need a flint knife for other than... I guess uh, it's just for attacking. Is it better than the club, though? Uh, not really, I don't think. We'll hold off on that. Let's. Ah, I'm on fire again! I need to do something about that. Like, lower it down into a hole. I don't know. I keep walking into it. I thought it would be a good idea to have it in the middle so it's near me. But I keep walking into the dang thing. Look at all these rocks. This works. Nice. Although there probably won't be any rocks there anymore now that I take, I've taken them all. Come here, dear. I want to smash your brains in with my club. Don't run from me. I really need to make that bow, don't I? Oh man, this looks like a better spot to put a house. I could have put it over there by that nice little tree. Actually, I do like this spot a lot better. Oh well. I've already started building over there. I'm not moving. Yet. Oh, looky here. We found an abandoned hut. Oh, I like that design. I'll have to do mine like that. Got the outside ribs. What do we got? Uh, coins. I'm not sure what coins are going to be useful for. I'm the only one in the world. <laughs> uh, I don't need another torch. Not right now, anyway. I'm just going to leave that. Leave that there. Find our boar. Big deer! Urgh, come here. If I wasn't so tired, I would have hit you. Ah. Deer are impossible. At least the boar will come after me. No, oh, hugging. Said I entered Black Forest. Turn back. This is a dangerous place. Uh, okay. I will take your word for it, and I will turn back. I feel underprepared for the normal area, <laughs> let alone Black Forest. Ah, uh, a boar finally. Get in my pocket. Cool. Leather scraps. 
All right. Whew. Cool. I'm gonna cook my meat. There we go. It's cooking on the fire. It looks like a hearty Viking meal. And finally, we have pants. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, let's see. Equip them. Yes! Haha! <laughs> but we don't have shoes or gloves. Well, that's alright. I mean, pants are start. At least my, my Viking junk won't get cold. Need ten flint and two leather scraps if we want to make a spear. I do want to make a spear. We really should just make the bow, though, because, I mean, I'm not going to be able to hunt deer, and I'm not going to be able to summon the boss if I don't. So, I think I'll leave it here for now. Uh, next episode's goal will be to finish the house, make a bow, and hunt deer. And if I have enough time, make a spear. Well, I burned my food. That was quick. But I have charcoal now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll end it here. And I hope you all liked the video. And if you did, like and sub if you're not subbed. And I will see you in the next time. In the land of Valheim. See you later. Oh, level up at the end. That's perfect. <laughs> see ya.